A recent poll by the New York Times and Siena College indicates growing concerns about President Biden's age among voters who supported him in 2020. The survey reveals that 61% of these voters now believe he is just too old to effectively lead the country, with 19% expressing the view that, due to his age, he is no longer capable of handling the presidency. The unease about Biden's age spans across demographics and appears to be on the rise as he approaches the Democratic Party's nomination. This sentiment contrasts with voters' views on Donald Trump, despite being just four years younger than Biden, faces significantly fewer concerns about his age. And I think Donald Trump shouldn't even be anywhere near this nomination. He doesn't have it there. He's not all right up there. Biden's campaign dismisses these anxieties, however. They're saying that it's a similar situation to 2020 where people questioned his age and he still won the presidency. However, this poll suggests a shift in perception and that's what the thing is. It's all perception. Emphasizing the challenge Biden faces and reassuring voters about his age and his mental sharpness. If re-elected, Biden would surpass his own record as the oldest sitting living president. And if you compare this to how Democrats feel about Trump's age, they don't seem to care, but they also can't mention it because Biden is a lot older than Trump, so you just kind of got to accept it, right? So let's not mention Trump's age. But the poll goes deeper as voters' opinions on Vice President Kamala Harris, who is not viewed more positively than Biden. Overall, while voters express warmer views about Biden's personality compared to Trump, concerns about his age persist and may impact his re-election bid. But let's take a look at what Gavin Newsom had to say about Biden's age when asked on this interview. Some pretty stark numbers that you're facing. 76% of voters say they have real concerns about President Biden's ability to serve a second term. Do you think it's responsible for Democrats to put him at the top of the ticket given those concerns? Responsible? I revere his record. I, I mean, this, what he's done in three years has been a master class, close to 15 million jobs. That's eight times more than the last three Republican presidents combined. The economy is booming. Inflation is cooling. It's 0.6 percent more than it was in the summer of 2020 at just 3.1 percent. Wait a second. We have American manufacturing coming back home all because of Biden's wisdom, because of his temperance, his yeah. capacity to lead in a bipartisan manner, which is an underrepresented point. And so I have great confidence moving forward. So the answer is absolutely all in in terms of the next four years the, Joe Biden. These voters, though, are not complaining about his record. They're talking about concerns about his ability to beat Trump, who you've called a, a lightning, a I'm threat, essentially, to the democracy. But in, in private, we've heard a lot of, well, we've heard a lot of his allies say publicly in private, he is strong, he's in command, yeah. he's forceful. Does he need to do more to show? I think he's doing that? everything he needs to do. I mean, he's got an extraordinary record. He's doing everything he needs to do on Ukraine at the moment. He's doing everything he needs to do uh, to reconcile and wrestle some common sense as it relates to a bipartisan approach to address the issue of the border, uh, where the Republicans couldn't take yes for an answer yeah. uh, because they don't want to make that a political issue. Uh, he is leading. And so, no, from my humble perspective, not only the last three years have been extraordinary, I've been out with, as you know, on the campaign drive, I was just out in California, I've seen him up close, I've seen him from far, but here's my point. It's because of his age that he's been so successful. It's because of the wisdom and the character that's developed over years that we have the Chips and Science Act, the Infrastructure Bill and the PACT Act and the Safer Communities Act. And because we've seen these bipartisan accomplishments, because of his capacity of understanding, because of his leadership. So the opportunity to express that for four more years, what a gift it is for the American people. And as a Democrat, what a gift for me to make the case for the leader of our party, Joe Biden. I think Gavin Newsom did an excellent job in laying out why Biden is good and a shoo-in to be president, but I think he did a better job at something else. He did a better job at showing how sharp he is to respond to these questions, something that you don't see a lot from many of the Democrats, but what Gavin Newsom did was showing that damn, he would be a great nominee. Regardless of what people think, regardless of how we're viewing it, looking at how he's answering this question, looking at how Biden answers the others, even though Gavin Newsom is not the president, I think a lot of people are looking for that type of sharpness, but from President Biden. What do you think below? Is Biden's age a big concern to you?